and welcome to all you Aquarians. Welcome to this monthly forecast, this monthly horoscope for, in general, for the uh, sign of Aquarius for 2013. And just a little thing, because uh, lots of clients ask me how to pronounce my name. And uh, it is a typical Flemish name. So it is called, it is pronounced Veerle. So not Verla or Verle, it's Verle. Hope that it's sorted out. And uh, but let's get back now to you, you Aquarians. It's a, it's a very profound month for you Aquarians, a deep month, because there are eclipses going on, two of them. And there is um, the Pluto Uranus square going on. And I'm going to talk a little bit about Caput Algol. Uh, because that's, that too is a team for May 2013. But let's start with the solar eclipse. So there is at the 10th of May a solar eclipse, which means the sun and the moon will be together uh, with the nodes, but in this case also with Mars and Mercury. So a lot of planets around 19 degrees of Taurus. Now that is for you Aquarians, your fourth house. And the fourth house is about you at your deepest level, at your core level. So what does it mean? It means um, solar eclipses means new beginnings. So, um, and a, a new moon in itself already means a new beginning and new, new seeds are planted. So you could say at your very deep core, there is something new emerging. There is a new you emerging, no matter how old you are. And um, for others, it could mean a move um, uh, to another home. And also for others, it could have an effect on their tent house, which is work. So they could make some changes around these areas as well. But for most Aquarians, it will have to do with a um, inner self that is really um, showing itself again. So there's a new, fresh, new beginning and that is really good. That is good energy. And Taurus slows down. So everybody is, um, uh, you could say, obliged to slow down at some area of their life because Taurus is a sign that is really about slowing th things down. And um, so when it has to do with you, your core, your roots, where do you come from, who are you deep down inside, that is the inner work that you do as an Aquarius at the moment. And you will benefit from that next month because these planets are going to shift to your fifth house, which is a very happy uh, creative house, creative expressive house. So that is one thing. Then around the 21st, there is again the Pluto Uranus square, but it is exact now. Now, uh, Pluto Uranus is for all of us, it's about transformation, it's about um, becoming more true to ourselves, and we're all learning to, to liberate ourselves in some kind of way. For you, it has to do with, it has to do with, because you are an Aquarius, um, it, it has to do with Pluto in Capricorn. And it has to do with um, Uranus in, um, in Aries. And that is all has to do with things that are on an unconscious level becoming conscious. Because it's the 12th house and the 3rd house. So your communication, your insights that you have, they can come with peaks. And they, they uncover unconscious uh, things that uh, you didn't... You, you weren't aware of yourself, that they come to the surface. But as I said, this Pluto Uranus square is going on for a long time already. So I don't believe in the fact that when planets are all of a sudden exact, then on that particular day something happens. I, it doesn't work that way in my opinion. I think people are working on that for quite a long time and it's on the background. Now the other thing that is going on is the 25th of May, there is a lunar eclipse. And it's a very nice one for you, for you Aquarians, because it's in Sagittarius. And that is for you, your 11th house. And it's a nice house, it's a lucky house, it's a house of friends, it's a house of socializing, it's a house... So what does it mean is that the moon is in your 11th house around that day, 
and the sun will be in your fifth house, that lucky house of self-expression and creativity, kids, romance, all of that, all the nice stuff in life. And um, it, it does oppose Neptune, so, so it could be a bit misty every now and then, but I don't think that will be too uh, dramatic for you. But um, what it says is that something comes to a completion considering your wishes, uh, the 11th house is, is the house of wishes and friends and maybe new connections with friends or are, are, um, are, are something that you're gonna do with friends around that day, around the 25th of, uh, of May. So all in all, a very a fresh month, it has a kind of a freshness in it, especially with that Sagittarius moon in the 11th house. Sagittarius is very joyful, positive, um, self-confident sign and the 11th house is a very uh, it is your house it's an Aquarius house so it, it's new hopes and new, new wishes the one tricky thing for all of us for all signs is that Caput Algol team I was talking about what is that all about Caput Algol is a fixed star and it's a fixed star situated around 25 26 degrees of Taurus um, I think the word alcohol is derived from caput algol and it symbolizes losing one's head. So we're all gonna lose our head maybe uh, the one a bit more than another one on specific areas of life. For you it has to do with that fourth house. And when is it going to occur? So these are the, the days that you will have to be aware of the fact that you don't overdo yourself, that you don't over um, react and that you're about to lose your mind. If you are aware of it, then you can step, take a step back and it won't be that bad. So um, it's around the building up. So around the 10th of May, there is a solar eclipse at 19 degrees. And then all these planets, the sun, the moon, Mars and Mercury will go towards um, that caput al goal. So right after the solar eclipse, it will be a bit of time for everyone, a bit of losing one's mind, maybe, you know, these new insights, these new beginnings, they kind of ask a lot of people. It's quite intense and maybe they are going too far with it. That's the only thing. And then also around the 25th, so the 24th, 25th, 26th, when the lunar eclipse is going on, this uh, Mars planet, which is, which is the planet of action, is bang on that uh, Caput Algol star. So that could be a day of um, mind your actions around that day. So if you have the slightest awareness of, hmm, I'm losing it here a little bit, it could be a minor thing, then be aware of it and uh, take a step back and you will be fine. So, having said all that, I wish you all the best, you Aquarians. Have a lovely month. Try to tap into the positive energies and I see you uh, next month. Bye-bye.